the Bible reads, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we received mercy, we faint not. And the title of my sermon tonight is Faint Not and Stay Moving. Faint Not and Stay Moving. The Lord has given us this ministry. The Lord has left us with a great work to do. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.18, And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. You know, the Lord expects us to stay moving forward for the gospel's sake. But sometimes, in order to for God to use us, we have to purge things out of our lives. And look at verse 2. It says, But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. As a congregation, as a church, we need to be looking forward to the gospel and we need to renounce these hidden things of dishonesty. We need to get rid of lying. Get rid of walking in craftiness. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. There's those out there that use the word of God with craftiness. There's those out there that use the word of God deceitfully to push their own agenda. We need to purge them things out of our church and move forward. It says, the second part says, by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience and the sight of God. We need to bring truth to every man, not dishonesty. It says, by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience and the sight of God. And the sight of God. The Lord, the Lord has left us with the Great Commission to preach the gospel, to get people saved, to disciple, to get people in church, so to hear the word of God so their lives can be changed for the glory of God. It says in verse 3, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If we're not preaching the gospel, people are going to hell. If we're not preaching the gospel, people can't get discipled. People can't get their lives changed. People can't bring glory to God. It says in verse 4, And whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. See, the same devil that attacks Christians and splits churches and causes brothers and sisters in Christ to break fellowship is the same God or the same devil that wants you to faint. The same devil that wants you to stop moving. It's the same devil that wants you to stop preaching to the lost. But we should faint not and stay moving. It says in verse 5, it says, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For Christ's sake, for Christ's sake we should be servants to others, not ourselves. It says in verse 6, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God and the face of Jesus Christ. Verse 7, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Verse 8, it says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. The Christian life can be hard. Serving the Lord with our lives, there's going to be struggles. Church splits. Brothers and sisters breaking fellowship. You know, the church split is probably one of the hardest things I've had to go through as a Christian, you know, as a congregation. <clears throat> the devil wants to bring you down. The devil wants you to faint and stop moving for the gospel's sake. The devil wants you to fall out of the fight. You know, the devil, look at verse 8. The devil wants you to feel troubled on every side. The devil wants you to be perplexed. He wants you to feel forsaken and cast down. But in Isaiah 40, verse 31, it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. When you wait upon the Lord, the Lord is your strength. When you're troubled on every side, 
The Lord is your strength, yet not distressed. When you are perplexed, the Lord is your strength. You're not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. The second part of that verse says, They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. We should just keep the Lord's work in front of us as we stay moving. When it says they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, that's moving. And they shall walk, that's moving, that's not staying still. And faint not, and not faint. Just because we lost things, people in our church, brothers and sisters, the Lord said if we would just stay focused on the gospel, if we'd keep the word of God and the gospel in front of us as we stay moving, that we would earn these things back. When you get people saved and you disciple them, you're going to gain a friend. Amen. You're going to gain a brother or sister in Christ. It says in Matthew 10, And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands for my sake, and this is the key, and the Gospels. But he shall receive an hundredfold in this time houses, brethren, and sisters. The Lord promises if you just stay moving, if you faint not and keep the Gospel in front, discipleship in front, fellowship in front, you will receive more brothers, more sisters. And then look down in verse 10. It says, Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. The goal is that we should walk our lives in a way that people should see Christ through us. That we should faint not and stay moving. In verse 11 it says, For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. So when we go through hard times, when we go through struggles, our hope is in the resurrection of Christ. No matter what happens, we will be with the Lord one day. Just faint not and stay moving. Keep the gospel in front. The Bible says, and uh, look at verse 15, it says, For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man pan perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And go jump down to verse 18, it says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You know, we don't know what the Lord's plan is for us. We know what He's got us, what's going to be our next trouble, our next struggle we go through. But we know that if we just keep the Word of God in front, if we just faint not and stay moving, if we keep the Gospel and the Great Commission in front as we go forward, the Bible says, I'll end with this in Galatians 6, 9, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Let's pray. Father God, I just thank you for your word. I thank you for our church. I just ask that you bless the next preacher behind me. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.